anytime you do something online that involves value, it invariably starts with an authentication. Uh, if you go to a, an online banking site, you need to log in uh, in order to perform online banking operations. That's an authentication. If you, even in things like social networking sites, if you're involved in anything that involves real value, generally that begins with an authentication. And therefore, the strength of those authentication systems and the ability of their users to use them effectively becomes a, a key element in their ability to prevent fraud. What I'm seeing from uh, those executives uh, is they're, they're concerned about the growing risk profile online and the growing fraud uh, threat that I mentioned earlier, but they're also concerned about their ability to meet that in a way that is um, uh, simple for their customers, acceptable to their customers, uh, and yet has a reasonable cost profile as well. So. That creates a set of factors that's very difficult for financial institutions to come to a balance with because if they create systems that are extremely complex and difficult to use, then they run the risk of alienating their customers, their end users, um, or if they create systems that are very, very sophisticated and very expensive, they can also be difficult to use and also uh, the, the cost can be prohibitive of them trying to deploy those sorts of systems. So I think they're looking at an increasing number of threats against a user population that is not becoming increasingly sophisticated as quickly as the criminals are in an environment where they also want to constrain costs and that creates a tough problem for them to, to find the right balance.